Hi, this is part two of Programming Blitz Basic for Beginners, where we're looking at programming basic 2D games using the Blitz Basic programming language. Okay, last tutorial we looked at just making a basic Hello World program that just writes the word Hello World into a window on the screen. Now we're going to look at actual graphics, as all your games will be using graphics, um, unless you're making an old, old style uh, text adventure game. But even then, you'll probably still want to use some graphic functions. So if we're using graphics, first thing we need to do is set up a window with a set graphics resolution. Any game you play at the moment will have a resolution uh, normally either 1024 by 768 or 800 by 600 or if you're running a high-end PC you may be running larger screen resolution as like 1650 by 1080 um, which is what you would be running if you had say a 22 inch widescreen monitor. Um, so that it keeps it simple and we can keep the numbers quite small and make sure everything runs on every system and also so it looks good on YouTube uh, I'll be sticking to the resolution of 640 by 480 so that's 640 pixels across by 480 pixels up this gives us basically the same sort of detail resolution as games such as Doom used when they came out in the early 90s uh, even some games actually today still use this resolution but it's mainly kind of more simple sort of games and the type of games that we'll be looking to make. So I'm going to set up my graphics resolution first of all. We do this using the graphics command. Uh, remember to comment as we mentioned in the last tutorial so we'll be commenting each language. So set graphics mode and this just instru instructs Blitz to um, set up a new window of 640 by 480 and how many Color, what color depth we want. Uh, most people's PCs now run at 32 bit color depth, which means you can have literally billions of colors on the screen at once. Uh, we're just going to put it to 16 bit, which is just over 64,000 colors on the screen at once. And the next argument that this graphics command asks for is whether you want it full screen or windowed. So we can see what's going on on the screen here. We're going to keep it on a window, which is 2. 1 would have made it full screen, 2 makes it in a window and you can actually put three as well that makes it in a resizable window so you can actually drag and scale your game's uh, window as you're playing it not very useful for most games though because they won't work very well if it's looking distorted or something like that so that's the graphics command that's all that's doing just setting up the screen so we now have a screen to work on um, what we're actually going to do is draw a series of shapes on the screen now to draw a series of shapes we don't want to put in a new command for every square that we want to draw on the screen or every circle we want to draw on the screen. So in this case we're going to draw 20 squares on the screen. What we can do is we can use a loop and we're going to use something called a for loop here. So oh, I nearly forgot my comment. So set loop to draw shapes. So we're going to use a for loop. So we're going to say 4x equals 1 to 50. Sorry, 20 didn't I say? Yep and basically that means that this loop will start at 1 and go around to 20 um, assigning each number to that variable x it's just like in maths at school where you have you know x equals y plus 4 or whatever basic algebra so in this loop every for loop needs to have a next at the end of it to tell it to go back to the start of the loop and move on to the next x so what we're actually going to do is uh, each time it loops round we're just going to draw a rectangle now a rectangle is uh, drawn using the command rect on Blitz. Uh, if you press the F1 key, uh, the bottom of the screen will actually show you what arguments you need for this. Arguments are just whatever you put after that command to instruct it how you want to run that command. So the arguments for rect are x, y, width, height and solid. If a argument is in square brackets that means it's optional, which means you don't have to actually specify it. Now we want our rectangles to appear at random places around the screen to enable us to get a random number for this. Blitz has a number of random function commands. The one we're going to use just gives us whole numbers, which is rand. So I'm going to say rand and ask it to give me any number up to, I don't know, our screen resolution is 640 but across, so maybe 500. So it's going to start drawing it at anywhere up to between 1 and 500 across the screen and a similar type of thing up and down the screen it's 480 up so I'm going to say anywhere between 1 and 400 
up the screen. And I'll have a width, we'll just have fixed widths, we'll keep it simple. So we'll make it 50 wide and 50 high for each of our rectangles. We don't specify whether it's solid, it will just draw it as a solid rectangle, which is what we want. So, as in the last program, I'm going to put wait key at the end of this, just to tell Blitz to wait for any key to be pressed before ending. Well, before continuing, because we may not be ending it straight after. And I can't spell continuing, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it as wait for any key. Next command is going to be end. That's it, just to, to end the program. So when we run this by pressing F5, or you can click on the rocket, we get a new window appear. We have a series of rectangles appearing in there. They're all over the place because we've made it random, so it's exactly as we want it. So I press any key which will end the program. Now before I move on to the next tutorial, we're going to adjust this a bit, because the main problem there is you can't tell the squares apart because they're all one colour. So Blitz has a command to specify what colour to draw uh, anything on the screen in, be it text, be it shapes, uh, even if you're clearing the screen with a different colour, you can use a um, similar command to set that colour. So before it draws each rectangle in this loop, we're actually going to use the colour command, and we're going to tell it to draw it... We're going to use random again because we just want random colours. Now with the rat with the color command you specify three arguments for color which is R, G or B, which is red, green or blue. And this can be any value between 0 and 255. White being all values at 255, black would be all values at 0. So I'm going to specify anything between 0 and 255 for each of the commands. So we will get completely random colors being generated. If I just wanted random reds, I would just put rand255 and then 0 and 0 for the other two commands. But in this case we're just going to do random everything so this this will just generate any amount of colours. And also no, no we'll leave it as that for now. So if we run the program again what you'll get is you actually get completely random colours appear on your rectangles. And that's the end of this program. We're going to move on to animation next, on the next tutorial. And in case you didn't check, on the right hand side I will be putting links to any source code used in these tutorials. Obviously it's very simple at the moment, but they will get much larger later on the programs as we're moving into actual playable games. Um, the web link for this will be coffeeinduced.wordpress.com that's actually my games development blog, so you'll also see posts there for other games I'm developing, as well as all the uh, stuff you need for these Blitz Basic tutorials, as well as any of the more advanced Blitz, Blitz Basic tutorials, which I'll be moving on to later on, which will include 3D graphics as well. Okay, see you, ne see you at the uh, next video.